hello everybody um you guys have asked how i was or the apps i was using for my weight loss um so i thought i would do a live stream this morning since they have a new stream caption function on the live stream function on your phone where you can actually screen save or screen Caption your screen on this music. I where I listen to music, um, Google Music does have free older free CDs. Um, that you could just download the whole CD and listen to. So I have done that. I've <laughs> then there's Pandora that I listen to. I have my own playlist on Pandora that I listen to that I've made. It was like my favorite songs. Spotify, I've done the same thing where it's like my favorite songs. I have a uh, three or four playlists on Spotify that are um, contemporary. Christian music that I found through other people that are on there that I listen to while I walk. Um, but the two main apps that I done for actual disc playing weight loss is Noom and Fitbit. When you, you open your Fitbit um, app, uh, you get steps, miles, and calories. You get this exercise tracker here. And we're going to not distract ourselves with ourselves. Um, but you get this exercise tracker. See, this is me exercising. It routes out your route. Um, of where you're walking and it puts you on a seven day regiment of walking um, see it says seven days I've only walked one of my seven days today um, it also gives you ladies it also gives you a tracker for your um menstrual cycle it tells you when you're fertile when you're about to have your menstrual cycle um you can do details each day if you're spotting or heavy if you're cramping headache bloated acne hot flashes tender breasts or sick your moods for that day annoyed sad stressed tired injured it even does Confirmity and other events like stuff like that that would be in your minimal help um, stuff um, while we're on here <laughs> I do have a new sponsor that is a minimum uh, company that does the uh, reusable washable pads it's hi ho I will put their link down below. Please do go see the see the ladies at Hi Ho um, because it is run by two sisters. Like your weight, um, it tells you how much you have lost. I did have that up to 40 pounds, and now it's on to 15 because I have been gaining because I have not been walking. Um, it's my own fault, um, but I have lost a total um, weight of 127 pounds uh, and then this is this like my weight it tracks your weight every week you go on here a certain day and put your weight on there and it tracks your weight um, every day that you put it on here um, or every week it's usually one day a week but you see my weight has been fluctuating lately um, but I did have it down to a two. Where is that? Uh, right here. I did hit 299. 
in January <laughs> but then they started spiking up again because all the rain and me not walking and then me not walking got me anxious and I went back into my old habits of eating so yeah that was all my fault but I am starting back so that's why I'm kind of showing you guys this app okay then it tracks your water you have it in a glass bottle or large bottle um, you're supposed to do 75 ounces I think everybody is different on this you have to fill out like a little survey when you first start the app and it kind of shows you how much water you drink in a week a month three months a year which is kind of neat um, but yeah um, see so yeah, I've not been drinking my water like I was either um, see I was drinking water like a lot that's another reason I'm probably getting weight gain it's because I have stopped my water consumption but anyway um, and then you have food log um, where you can totally see if you're going over or under if you're in calories that you're supposed to be in or because you do do a little survey it shows you otherwise it shows you exactly what you need um so it tells you like how many calories um you're supposed to be consuming if you're under that or over that um it tells you like an average of how much you're going over and how much you're going in and and everything for a month um but when you eat every day or anytime you eat during the day um you go over here you push this and then it's like like today i know i'm going to eat yogurt I have two yogurts a day so I'll, I'll put the two yogurts which is that's the calories for two yogurts in a serving and I push log in or log this and see now my yogurts are in there as I haven't ate them yet but I know they're going that's a given every morning so now that's in there now it's going to tell me How much more calories I have and when you walk or exercise with this app that does calibrate into your calories so if you exercise extremely a lot that day which I have in the past I've had 1500 uh, steps on this app so it calibrated where the little bar got higher because I had burnt more calories. So this does calibrate with the more exercise you do, the more calorie intake you can have, which I liked. Um, but that's, but you do have like support groups and stuff like that on here if you want them where you talk to other people that's on Fitbit and a community where you can like post your achievements of a what you've done and they have like healthy eating groups where you talk to other people about healthy eating and say this guy lost this much weight so that's kind of cool. You do have before and after shots you can do on here to kind of show your progress with other people on Fitbit. See, she lost so much weight that she's showing her pants that she doesn't fit anymore, which you go girl. But anyway, um, I have really liked the three years I have been on Fitbit. Um, it has helped in my weight loss. 
And then the other one that I really, really like, and this has no social elements whatsoever, is Noom. Noom is a very good app for weight loss. If you are looking for a weight loss app, this is one to get. Um, if the only issue I have is it takes a while to load sometimes. That's kind of the only issue I have with it. But other than that, I really like Noom. Um, Noom has a paid service and a free service. Um, I only do the free service. It counts your steps. And another thing I don't really like about Noom on that is you do have to leave the app open and I mean completely open like this. It can't be behind any other apps. Like if you're listening to music and trying to use Noom to count your steps, it's not going to work unless the Noom is the front. It you can see it. That's the only way it counts it, steps. It do have a, a another app that's supposed to go with Noom that's supposed to be like a step counter, but it does not work like that. And sometimes it actually messes the actual Noom um, app up. Or right, that's my experience. I'm on a Samsung phone, so I thought maybe that would help, but it didn't. But because uh, I did have another phone, uh, Hulu, or I don't even know how to pronounce the name of that phone, but it was always messing up. But it hasn't messed up as much on the Samsung. But still, the um, step counter app does kind of mess up the count and they don't ever talk to one another so I would I recommend not to get the other app this app's just fine as long as you leave it open where you can see it on the screen it will count your steps but if it goes behind any other apps that's open it's not going to count as well or at all but anyway on this one you get meal planning or where it, it does your meals it has morning, snacks, breakfast, lunch, afternoon, all that good stuff. Um, you go on here, and I recommend if you do do anything like this, every morsel that goes into your mouth gets tracked on these apps. Because it's not going to work unless you actually use the app and put every morsel that goes into your mouth in, into this app and show them, hey, this is what I'm eating. Because otherwise they cannot track you right. So I'm going to eat two uh, yogurts this morning. That is a gift. Every morning I have those two yogurts. Um, the Activia yogurt is so good to help your... Um, digestion so that's going to be always a staple of my breakfast if I have it for it to be a staple of my breakfast so I will add that because I know that's a giving and you will appear say done but if you are not done and that's just how, what you started out with you can go back and add to the meal so don't worry about that um, but it'll calculate, so it'll give you so many calories you're supposed to eat in a day. This is what I like about Noom. It does calculate to your personal needs what you are supposed to be eating. I'm on a 1600 calorie diet now um, with this. So it tracks the 140 for me. And tells me I've got 1,520 calories left to eat today. Um, then it tells you how many steps you're supposed to be taking today. And this is the bare minimum I'm supposed to take today. I can do more, which the other app tells me to do more. But I can do more, but I need to do at least 1,250 steps today. And this gradually ups more exercise you do, the more exercise this asks you to do. You can do a workout log where if you exercise but you don't 
have the phone with you when you do the exercising, you can, like, tell this exercises you've done. Um, they, you can do this on the treadmill because it is hard to do the phone with a treadmill. You can do it for just regular walking, running, running on the treadmill, sand walking, biking, stationary biking, aerobics, badminton, baseball, basketball, boxing, training, stair climbing, dancing, aerobics, all kind of hula hooping, horseback riding. So it has all kind of exercises that you can do. That if you can't have your phone, you can still track them. Um, I'm going to show you how you do this. Um, let's say I'm going to go to the treadmill. I'm going to go to the treadmill and walk for 30 minutes. That'll be 2.5 miles, according to them. And if it is more, you can change it. And then it tells you how many calories you're going to burn. If you do this, you can you can adjust all this. You want to walk more than that on the treadmill, you can. If it in that amount of time you walk more then they're predicting you will. You can change their mileage, how much you have walked on your treadmill. Um, then the calories will automatically change um, on this. So this is a good option also to have when you have like going to walking the treadmill or you go to the gym. Because I know a lot of people go to the gym when they try to lose weight. So that's a good option to have. Um, you can track and you do track your weight. Every Monday mindset to every Monday I have to put a new weight in. Um, and it tracks your weight. Um, you can do your blood pressures. This is my last blood pressure that I done. But you can do your blood pressures once a week uh, or daily, however you want to do it. Um, this is the last blood pressure I took and put on here. Um, you can out oh, oh wrong, but and you can also do your blood glucose for you that are diabetic or not diabetic. Just wanted to kind of keep track of this. They do do a tracking for blood glucose. I don't do it myself, um, but if you're diabetic, this is a good app to have, to be having a track of that. Um, you can do your morning blood before a meal, your morning meal, I guess. Then after your meal, before bed, and then other. So you can do you can do a blood glucose for a whole day and track it on this app, um, which is really good for someone that is diabetic to have this app and just be able to do that and track their exercise as well. Even if they're not trying to lose weight, this is a pretty good app just for that reason. Because this is the only one I've felt with the blood glucose like that. And I thought that was neat. Um, I have a lot of diabetics in my family, so I thought that was a neat option um, for anybody that is diabetic. But I just want you, you all were asking about these apps and what I was using for my weight loss um, and my weight, tracking my weight. Um, so I thought since they have this new screen caption option on YouTube, I would try it out by doing a video with this is what I use for my weight um, tracking. Uh, so if you want to go along with me on my weight journey, um, Noom with a little sunshine and Fitbit are the two apps that I use for that. Um, I will see you all in the next video. Please be kind to one another. Do go and check out the people at Hi Ho Ladies because they are awesome um, products and very comfortable. You don't even know that you're wearing them. And I will see you all in the next video.
please be kind to one another. Enjoy your day. Don't endure your day. And if you're new here, please do click that big red button. Turn it gray and become a kitten today. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.